biodiversity is the foundation of food and agriculture, making crop production, livestock farming, forestry, fisheries, and aquaculture possible. Did you know 35% of crop production depends on animal pollinators, such as bees, birds, and bats? Small holder farmers who work on less than two hectares of land produce 35% of the world's food. At least 50,000 wild species are used for food, energy, and medicine worldwide. Indigenous peoples manage 40% of the planet's protected areas and ecologically intact landscapes. Yet, the way we produce, distribute, and consume our food is one of the main direct drivers of biodiversity loss. Luckily, food and agriculture is receiving increasing attention in the development of biodiversity policies, particularly in the National Biodiversity Strategies and Action Plans, or NBSAPs, that countries have committed to develop under the Convention on Biological Diversity. FAO is committed to supporting countries in their NBSAP development and implementation helping to ensure increased understanding of and ambition for using sustainable agriculture to deliver on biodiversity goals and targets. To date, more than 40 countries have benefited from FAO's technical and financial support in their efforts to create and execute these plans. The Agri and BSAP's support initiative launched by FAO, Colombia, and the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity aims to scale up the inclusion of sustainable agriculture into national biodiversity planning and action to help achieve the goals and targets of the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. The GBF includes 23 targets with over half directly related to our food production its distribution and consumption. The initiative helps governments to identify and implement actions within agri-food systems that will meet biodiversity commitments. It focuses on institutional capacity, policy coherence, knowledge generation, and access to finance. For example, in Laos, PDR, Madagascar, and Uganda, FAO is already supporting biodiversity mainstreaming in national agricultural policies and practices. This structured approach ensures that national priorities and frameworks are fully integrated with biodiversity goals. At regional level, FAO has developed guidance on mainstreaming ecosystem services and biodiversity into agricultural production and management in East Africa to help these countries consider ecosystem services in agricultural production systems, strengthening MBSAP implementation across the region. I invite you to explore how you can be part of the API NBSAP support initiative, which will be implemented from 2025 to 2030. This initiative will provide countries with data, tools, capacity building resources, and lessons learned to align agri-food sectors in your countries with the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. By leveraging these resources, we can ensure that agriculture and food systems around the world contribute to halting biodiversity loss and promoting its sustainable use, enhancing ecosystem resilience and securing a sustainable future for all.